We're now let's solve this equation. Here we have the condition a plus b plus c is equals to 180 degree. By using this condition, we have to prove that sine to a plus sine to b plus sine to c is equals to 4 sine a sine b sine c. So what I suggest you to do is just write the given condition and leave some space here so that you can write the thing as it is required in the question. So the LHS of the question is sine to a plus sine to b plus sine to c sine to a plus sine to b plus sine to c. So my way to solve this question is just to we use the formula of sine c plus sine d in these first two terms and then wait for the result to change this this one the third term so let's use the formula of sine c plus sine d here it will be 2 sine c plus d by 2 2 sine d c plus d by 2 cos c minus d by 2 remember this 2a is c for us and this 2b is d so 2 sine c plus d by 2 and cos c minus d by 2 so we are just waiting for the first term the simplified form of the first term to change this ratio so 2 sine 2a plus 2b by 2 it is 2 sine a plus b 2 sine a plus b into cos a minus b Just split it divide by 2 or you can take here 2 common and you can cancel it with 2 so plus sine 2c now see here a plus b i think we have seen it somewhere around here so if you shift this c on the other side it will be a plus b is equals to 180 degree minus c 180 degree minus c so what we need here is we, have, we just need here sine a plus b so if we can use here or if we can take sine and cos on both sides it will be sine a plus b is equals to sine 100, 180 degree minus c I hope you understand if I write here directly sine c, it is the cast rule that I have been using here. The next one we can take here also is the cos a plus b. So cos a plus b is equals to cos cos 180 minus c. Just take cos also as you have done for sine. So it will be minus cos c because this 180 degree minus c is in the second quadrant. In second quadrant, the value of sine is positive, whereas the value for cos is negative. So it is minus cos c in case of cos. So, I can replace this 2 sin a plus b with 2 sin c, 2 sin c and this one is cos a minus b, cos a minus b, 2 sin c, cos a minus b plus, see here, this is sin c and we have just here sin 2c, this is the multiple angle form of sin c. So, what we can do here is we can use the formula of sin 2 theta in terms of 2 sin theta and cos theta, 2 sin c, cos c, just take here common. The 2 sin c is common here. So 2 sin c cos a minus b. What is left with here in the second term? It is cos c. 2 sin c cos a minus b plus cos c. So if you see here the result that we have just, just obtained here minus cos c is there. So if you shift this minus on the other side of this cos a plus b, it will be minus cos a plus b. So if you don't understand it, let me elaborate it again here cos a plus b is equals to minus cos c either you multiply this both sides with minus it will be minus cos a plus b is equals to cos c cos c so minus of cos a plus b instead of this cos c i can write it with minus cos a plus b 2 sin c cos a minus b minus of cos a plus b so if you know the formula of the transformation of the trigonometric ratios, we have cos a minus b minus cos a plus b. This is equals to 2 sin a sin b. But let me use the formula of the compound angle. So it is cos a minus b is equals to cos a cos b cos a cos b plus sin a sin b. I am using the formula of compound angle here. Minus cos a plus b is cos a cos b. Again, it will be. Again, it will be minus sin a sin b cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. If you don't know the formula of compound angle, please recall it. Co co psi psi. And whenever it is psi, it will be plus here. So it will be 2 sin c cos a cos b cos a cos b plus sin a into sin b. Sorry, it is sin a into sin b. Sin a into sin b minus of cos a 
cos b minus minus plus sin a sin b sin a sin b so these two terms are cancelled here these two terms cos a cos b and cos a cons, cos b are cancelled so what remains is 2 sin c sin a into sin b sin a into sin b plus sin a into sin b so if you add the term inside the bracket we will get here is what we will get here is 2 sin a into sin b so 2 times 2 is 4 2 times 2 is 4 if you rearrange the terms on the basis of their angles on the order of the angle to 4 sin a sin b and sin c so this is equals to right hand side this is equals to right hand side therefore lhs is equals to rhs proved therefore lhs is equals to rhs proved